people honestly believe the world is flat. What is gravity? You have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> I, 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 I... He is just an actor. It's not just a side job. Let's look at some of his acting. Here he is on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I know astronomy can seem a little daunting and scientific, but I have a friend who I think can make it pretty interesting. Who this? Hey, Gene, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. And I care why? Director of the Hayden Planetarium, one of the world's leading astrophysicists, and he's doing me a huge favor. And how do you know Terrence Space Tie? I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. You know, from television. Let's go to the audience for our first question. Hey, Daniel. How are you, buddy? How do you feel about increasing funding for the space program? For starters, I don't believe space exists. <laughs> I, 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 I... Damn, Neil deGrasse Tyson! How are you doing that? It's physics, Terry. It's physics. Gina, look. Give me two hours. You'll not only pass your exam, you'll gain a deeper appreciation of the universe through which we journey on this spaceship Earth. No big deal, right? Here he is featuring on Family Guy. Oh, come on, what the hell? Bummer, he's never gonna get to hit that. I know, that's exactly what I wished for. Well, I actually wished for it 30,000 years ago. It's true. Even at the speed of light, mean-spirited thoughts from the stars can take thousands or even millions of years to reach the Earth. Have you seen Howard? I think he's eating lunch. Uh, Sheldon, I wanted to meet Neil deGrasse Tyson from the Hayden Planetarium in New York. I'm quite familiar with Dr. Tyson. He's responsible for the demotion of Pluto from planetary status. I liked Pluto. <laughs> Ergo, I do not like you. I actually didn't demote Pluto. That was a vote of the International Astronomical Union. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Think about that, Dr. Tyson. <laughs> and this would be your sister? No, no, Neil, you know, she's not my sister. This is Jennifer Keller, it's Bill Nye, and Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know, from television. You know, from television. Yeah, uh, of course. Very nice to meet you. No, the pleasure is mine. And she's taken, Neil. No, no, I didn't mean it that way. No. See, Neil likes to steal things from me, things like women and theoretical physics ideas. Uh, yeah, but who hasn't stolen an idea from the great Rodney McKay? Oh, so we admit it now. See, back in the day, whenever any one of these people came up with a new idea or published a new paper, Dr. McKay here would swear that he was already working on something very similar. You're not gonna attach a camcorder to a Roomba, stick it in the desert, and tell me it's Mars. <laughs> Hadn't gotten around to publishing it yet. You say things like, I was about to say that very same thing, or I was just about to have that same idea. Hey, at least I didn't declassify Pluto from planet status. Way to make all the little kids cry, Neil. You know, that make you feel like a big man? See, thanks to Dr. Tyson, Pluto is now the first of the Plutoids, a new class of celestial object. It's cool. Rodney, it's the 21st century. Well, it has been great running into you guys. We should maybe get our seats. Bye. They can't possibly be dating. I know. Well, you know, you're married, so dibs. <laughs> She's all yours. Ha-ha! <laughs> I feel smarter already. The digits of pi are 3.1... Um... 415926, etc. What? Who said that? Mabel? Oh, Dipper, look! Greetings, friends. It is I, Waddles the Pig. What? Waddles, what happened to you? Have you been possessed by the spirit of a nerd? I understand my transformation may be vexing, but I have prepared a presentation. No for me. <laughs> Forgive me. My pig arms are cute and useless. The brain goop! You ate it and built all this, didn't you? This isn't right! The pig goes oink! The pig goes oink! Now, the pig.
pig goes wherever he can shine the light of knowledge into the darkness of ignorance. Whoa! What the heck a hedron? How did you do that? I can teach you, Dipper. I can teach you many things. From the secrets of astrophysics to the... This is called gravity. Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is your greatest invention yet! It could solve every problem of mankind! And bring me many potatoes. Delicious potatoes. <laughs> yummy, yummy for my fat little pig tummy. Said that when you were a, a youth, you were a magician. You were yeah, I, I, I made. You know, you make ten, twenty bucks at a kids' party. Yeah. Uh, I, most of my magic was physics, so which is physics magic? But would you say you do real magic? This is called gravity. I don't know. It's all the same. I think it's. I actually believe that science and magic are, are so closely related, and it's. at age nine and in magic probably by age 11 and so i just thought magic was cool uh, to show the frailties of the human sensory system and we're on um, let's say optical illusions why is that book called optical illusions it, it really should be called brain failures because that's what it actually is this is called gravity Oh, the line, is it in the page or how to, I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh, is it in the, the brain failures. This is called gravity. Neil deGrasse Tyson, astrophysicist. The solar system is over four and a half billion years old. <laughs> Did you of course whipped cream, cream, right? no, whip cream has to float. He's already doing the voiceover for the preview. Since the beginning of time, we have wondered how the universe came to be. A gloriously orchestrated plan? Or something much, much dumber? But in the movie, he's set to play a character called, <laughs> get this, Neil DeBuck Weasel. Are you f kidding me? Neil DeBuck Weasel? More food for thought, Merriam-Webster's second definition of weasel. <laughs> he, he even has on his Jesuit son worshipping vest, uh, you know? Come on, it's so obvious now, especially all this space programming for kids. More and more people are starting to be able to see right through this. Are you going to be able to do it? That's what I do. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. The hell was that? Your earth looks flat because one, you're not far enough away. I, 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 I was your size. Two, your, your size isn't large enough relative to Earth to notice any curvature at all. There's a growing anti-intellectual strain in this country. That many, that it may be the beginning of the end of our informed democracy. You want to think the world is flat? Go right ahead. The Earth is flat. I, 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 I was... But if you think the world is flat and you have influence over others, as would successful rappers... Presidential candidates, then being wrong becomes being harmful to the health, the wealth, and the security of our citizenry. The earth isn't flat. The earth is flat. And by the way, it's called gravity. What is gravity? This is called gravity. We need us. We need us.